the Holy Bible. Is God not fit to rule man? Is God not fit to rule man as Satan challenge? If man should rule man by mean of a government then Satan, would change God plan and prove that he is correct. Will there be any government over man forever other than God himself? Was God intention for man to rule man, as many believe today, what is the Bible answered, Jeremiah 10 23 O Lord, I know the way of man is not in himself, it is not in man who walks to direct his own steps. God did not intended man to be under any rulership or government when he made Adam. 1 Samuel 8, verse 6 But the thing displeased Samuel when they said give us a king to judge us, so Samuel prayed to the Lord. Verse 7 And the Lord said to Samuel, Heed the voice of the people in all that they say to you, for they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. When there is righteousness there is no need for a government other than the father rule or kingdom. Man is the one who requested a government in the days of Saul. All governments and rulerships power must come to an end when God kingdom start 1 Corinthians 15, 24. The father kingdom will start again after sin end. God did not intend any man or anyone to rule over his creations everlastingly, as he did not put anyone to rule over Adam and Eve right down to Saul day when sin and Jesus' kingdom or government of 1,000 years will be no more, or end and death will come to its final end. David's kingdom will pass on to Jesus and will continue with Yahweh the Father forever, without any end, Daniel 44 verse 2 And in the days of these kings the God of heaven will set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand to time indefinite or in Hebrew a period of time. 1. When will be the final end of all governments? 2. What will happen at the final end? The final end is after Jesus' rule ends, 1000 years, which is a short period of time in relation to everlasting. 1 Corinthians 15, 24 Then comes the end, when he delivers the kingdom to God the Father, when he puts an end to all rule and all authority and power. Verse 25 For he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. Verse 26 The last enemy that will be destroyed is death. Verse 27 For he has put all things under his feet, but when he says all things are put under him it is evident that he who put all things under him is accepted. Verse 28 Now when all things are made subject to him, then the Son himself will also be subject to him who put all things under him that God may be all in all. All governments and authority and power will cease to exist, including Jesus' rulership and governments mentioned at Daniel. 9 6, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, this government will be 1,000 years, Revelation 20 verse 4 And they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Continue at Daniel. 9-7 Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end, upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. No more governments or rulerships including Jesus' government or rulership when there is complete righteousness there no need of a government. 1 Corinthians 15, 24 Then comes the end, when he delivers the kingdom to God the Father, when he puts an end to all rules and all authority and power including all governments. 25 For he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. Verse 26 The last enemy that will be destroyed is death. Verse 28 Now when all things are made subject to him, then the Son, Jesus, himself will also be subject to him who put all things under him that God may be all in all. Open for comments. Share. Thanks for watching like and subscribe.